is I've done more for Israel by far than any other president, not even close. And with the historic Abraham Accords, as you know, we created peace in the Middle East. Unfortunately, they didn't add any countries to it, but we will. By contrast, Kamala Harris stabbed Israel in the back in its great hour of need. Two days ago, she refused to attend the speech in Congress of the Prime Minister of Israel. She said, oh, I can't make it. It was just a small group of people, but they couldn't make it because that's her original thought. That's where she comes from. She doesn't like Jewish people. She doesn't like Israel. That's the way it is. And that's the way it's always going to be. She's not going to change. Together with Joe Biden, she gave billions and billions of dollars to Iran and Hamas to fund their campaigns of terror. She gave them billions of dollars. They were broke. Remember when I left, they were broke. There were stories that Hamas is out of business, Hezbollah is out of business. They were broke. October 7th would have never happened if I were president. The attack, the attack on Ukraine by Russia would have never happened. I spoke to President Putin often about it. It was the apple of his eye. He would have never done it. Wouldn't have done it. I said, you'll never do it. He would have never done it. It was only after I left that armies started aligning the border with Ukraine, armies. And I said, oh, he's just negotiating. He'll never do it, but he did it. He did it because we had a weak president. He did it also because our move out of Afghanistan was so incompetently done. And I think when he saw the way we did that, he said, wow, this is a paper tiger that we're dealing with. But they weren't a paper tiger with me. We defeated ISIS in four weeks instead of five years. It was supposed to take five years, four weeks. <laughs> Within days of the heinous October 7th attack on Israel, Kamala Harris praised the anti-Israel protesters. You saw that, right? She praised them. She betrayed America's ally and sided with the radical fringe of her party only for political gain, maybe for personal gain, I don't know. And this week, many of those Kamala Harris supporters burned American flags in the heart of our nation's capital and desecrated our monuments. Did you see they sprayed very powerful spray paint into limestone, magnificent, the lions, the bells, you saw it. And you know, when that gets into limestone, you never really get it out. You'll see it in a hundred years from now. They desecrate it. And by the way, January 6th, well, what's happening to these people that have done serious damage? Have they been, have they been arrested? Are they in jail now? Like the January 6th hostages? Uh, and when are they letting them out? You know, we had a great Supreme Court ruling four weeks ago that really will, should let most of them out. When are they coming out? They're still there. When are they coming out? Unlike liberal Kamala, I will support Israel's right to win its war on terror. You have to support that. <laughs> got to win, got to finish it off. And instead of pandering to the jihad sympathizers and America-hating radicals, we will deport them. We will deport them very quickly. We have no choice.